good morning children hope you are staying safe and healthy In previous class we have discussed about uh, the evolution of human so you have learned block one evolution of human did you read the lesson children yes good have you uh, done the homework okay good uh, let us start today's class children what are tools so you have heard about the word tools what are tools yes it's an instrument correct yeah so what are that instrument for but uh, yeah you used to do some task or some work okay correct so instruments are uh, tools are instruments i uh, used to do Uh, or used to perform uh, some work okay different kinds of work you can see so let us see the answer good you can read the answer children yes tools are instruments used to do various kinds of work okay now are pencils and pens also tools yes yeah correct so pencils and pen yeah they or can also be called tools they are also uh, called as tools uh, see you are using it to perform uh, what or to do what for writing you are using it for writing no oh. so we can call it as tool next what are they made of do you have pen and pencil with you so you can tell that yes correct uh they are made of wood or plastic okay uh so children uh, today why do we uh, okay i'll ask you one more question why do we use tools so now we know that what are tools okay uh, why do we use tools uh, we use tools to perform different kinds of work very good so we use tools to perform various kinds of task uh, you can see some uh, examples day to day life okay, which are the tools you can uh, tell some examples from your uh, not the uh, tools uh, using at home uh, for example knife okay uh, that you uh, know uh, uh, we use knife uh, or knife is used to chop okay different things then scissors okay uh as so we use scissors to cut things okay so here uh, we are going to discuss about the tools which were used by early humans so already we have learned about the evolution of early human now the tools uh, used by early human so humans have been uh, using different types of tools okay since prehistoric period that is uh, the period until uh, the system of writing was not developed is known as prehistoric period uh, so the today we are discussing about uh, the tools okay which were used by the early human that is stone tools block to stone tools so you can see the pictures these are different shapes and different size of uh, stone tools uh, now humans uh, early humans used stone tools okay uh, and they used stones uh, bone or uh, dry twigs as tools uh, later they sharpened uh, and you know uh, made into different shapes according to their needs so previous lesson you learn about that okay the early human in different stages they use these stone tools for hunting 
uh, to tear the meat uh, uh, and uh, as a tool uh, to protect themselves from the wild animal like that you have learned this in the uh, previous lesson uh, now they named it okay in the different time period in history so there are this period are divided into uh, paleolithic uh, age mesolithic age neolithic age calculitic age and iron age so here we are uh, going to discuss about paleolithic age and mesolithic age what is paleolithic age paleo so this is a greek word okay it's a greek word uh, even mesolithic so these words are taken from greek paleo means old and lithic it uh, formed from lithos mean stone so old stone age paleolithic old stone age okay paleolithic age means old stone age so this is the first period then mesolithic meso means middle and lithic is stone so mesolithic middle stone age uh, here in this uh, two uh, period okay uh, the early humans used the stone tools so we are uh, we are going to learn how these tools evolved over this time in this lesson we will be able to describe uh, the features or we can we will be able to describe the tools made during uh, paleolithic age and mesolithic age with this lesson we are going to learn a few keywords uh, which are related to this lesson now the first word paleolithic so uh, already i explained that it is old Uh, stone age okay paleolithic age is the early phase of stone age that is old stone age next one mesolithic so meso means middle and lithic stone so this is middle part of stone age middle part of stone age now next one uh, microlith micro small okay and lith lithic you know it's from stone so small stones that means small tools microlith small a small tool so then you can read this okay you can read the um, keywords and uh, later you can write in your notebook uh, next uh, by face by face a tool with two faces a tool with two faces now next one batent uh, it is thick or uh, end or thicker end okay batent then core so core is the middle part of a stone and from that part uh, which the blades were removed the next word flu a long narrow cut uh, made along a stone you know the instrument flu okay we can see the cut in that okay so the same way here long narrow cuts made along a stone so these are the keywords now uh, i'm going to uh, you know read a story uh, you can read so already i have typed here in the screen you can read that story so let us read a story about a little girl who lived during the paleolithic age Lara and her family moved from place to place 
in search of food and shelter. They hunted animals for food and ate wild berries from the forest. They only had a rough idea about how to use stone as tools. So this story is about Lara. And uh, this girl okay, lived during the Paleolithic age. Uh, so this passage is given that how Fuji lived in uh, during Paleolithic age. So children, imagine that uh, you were in Paleolithic age. Okay, imagine that you were in Paleolithic age, and how would you live? So if you were living in the Paleolithic age, the question is, if you were living in the Paleolithic age, how would you have survived? What would you eat? And uh, okay, uh, how did you uh, how would you have uh, used uh, the stones? Imagine, and you can write in your notebook. If you are living in the Paleolithic age, how would you have survived? You can write in your notebook. Okay, children. Uh, let us tell uh, tell me how how would you have survived? So we can say we would have uh, survived or uh, by you know, making uh, different types of tools with these stones. Uh, so we made, you no, know, we would uh, make tools to hunt uh, and uh, hunt animals for food or uh, to protect us or protect us from the wild animals. And we can say uh, we use these stone tools to cut the trunk uh, or uh, split the trunks of trees or cut trees uh, to uh, build you know, shelter like houses or uh, to make fire. So different uses for different uses. And uh, we can uh, even you know uh, how can we survive? Okay, how would we survive? Uh, making you know different tools we would have you know sharpened these tools uh, to for growing crops so many things okay let us see the answer you can re read this answer you can read this answer children we would make sharp object with stones to protect ourselves and hunt animals for food very good next one read Yes, right. We would have cut down trees with the stones so that we could use the wood for other purposes such as making fire, shelter, etc. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, next one. So, what were you see now? You have uh, you know about this. Okay. Uh, you have learned about this. Uh, Lara's okay in the Paleolithic age. You have learned about Paleolithic age and how they have uh, they survived there. So next one, children. Uh, what were the different tools made by early human during the Paleolithic age? So here uh, we are discussing different tools made during Paleolithic age and Mesolithic age. So next, uh, you can see this. Let us discuss. What were the different types of tools made by early human during the Paleolithic age? Uh, you see the picture, children. You know, what is this? Stone tool. Okay. So what is the, what uh, different types are there? So this is the hand axe. Okay, you can see that. It is a hand axe so this hand axe see both ends so the button that is the thicker end so you already learned the keywords okay button means thicker end so the button of this uh, tool was broader and uh, no they use for cutting and digging so it might have been using for cutting and digging so the sharp and to dig it's easy to dig and now next one see the picture observe this what is this 
it's a cleaver it's a cleaver uh, like you know uh, very thin see the both the edges uh, or both side you can see that uh, the edges like biface okay two faces see uh, biface uh, used for uh, splitting trunks of trees that sharpened uh, while seeing this picture we know okay what is the use so uh, it is used uh, for splitting the trunks of the trees okay now next see uh, see the shape of that okay this is chopper uh, this chopper this was the core tool that is uh, the middle part okay and it was used for chopping from the name we know that chopper is used for chopping okay now next one yes what is this it's a flake okay uh, this you uh, know uh, tool uh, they used to, or this was you know produced by removing uh, thin layers of stone to remove the thin layers of stone flake then during it's very sharp and very thin like a blade okay this is bury so during uh, they used like blade used for engraving on stones or bone the sharp end is helpful to engrave on stones or bones. Okay. now let us see these names of the uh, tools you can read children let us see these answers and you can read it yes correct the different types of tools made by the early humans during paleolithic age were hand axes for cutting cleavers for splitting choppers were chopping and building and flakes for engraving on bones and stones okay yeah now we know that uh, this okay even in india the paleolithic tools were found in kashmir valley valley and you know uh, the luni river in rajasthan uh, has a huge number of paleolithic sites and uh, many uh, tools have been found in uh, you know uh, uh, narmada river basin then uh, krishna okay river krishna uh, then uh, godavari etc okay now next let us discuss let us see that yes there is one question is there any difference between the hand saw used by a carpenter have you observed the two which carpenters use yes so that hand saw uh, and the kitchen knife that your parents use at home so we know kitchen knife knife so okay when they are everyday day to day life using that your small children maybe your parents use or you know that so is there any difference between the hand saw used by the carpenter and the kitchen knife tell me children what is the use uh, what is the difference you can compare that yes correct hand saw is bigger okay hand saw is bigger than the kitchen knife and uh, a kitchen knife it is easy to use okay easy to carry easy to use so we are using hand saw only carpenters you know they use uh, to make furniture now let us see the answer you can read children read the answer yes the hand saw is bigger than the kitchen knife a knife is easier to use than a hand saw okay good now open your content book children page number 9 do you have book with you because in the previous class i told you keep uh, your books content book workbook and a notebook with you yes now open your content book page number 9 uh, observe those pictures okay now uh, here we are going to discuss about few uh, tools okay 
what is this you, everybody knows it's a stone tool yes see the shape of that so uh, already paleolithic uh, age the stone tools of paleolithic age you, you have you know, i showed the pictures now see this one see this stony uh, you can compare the uh, shape okay and size of this so this one its shape it has a uh, it had cylindrical shape okay see this now next one this is called okay, the middle part of the uh, stone and what is next see that what is the shape you say the shape it is triangular shape okay uh, they had triangular shape it, uh, triangular in shape and this used as arrowhead the picture it's very clear used as arrowhead so this is the point now next one yes what is this here also this is very thin like blade and you know uh, pointed it has a pointed edge okay uh, so a blade so this is blade and this also uh, used for cutting the next one see you now this just like blade only thin blade mm, and see the shape of that uh, end okay one end two uh, these are uh, different in both ends so one edge it is you no know, like a semi see this is semicircle uh, this is lunate this is lunate see the shape of that so this also like a blade uh, and what one end was a semi circle okay so in all this uh, what feature you find out so these all these tools shapes okay they had geometrical shape okay and uh, they are uh, small smaller in size yes now uh, let us see discuss about this so these are the mesolithic okay tools uh, during mesolithic age these were the tools now what did you notice about the tools made during the mesolithic age so already you watched you observed these pictures so what did you notice about the tools made during the mesolithic age yes about the shape and size you can see that uh, mesolithic age okay the to uh, tools the uh, stone tools that were uh, no uh, removed from the stone okay uh, using or by the fretted core technique okay the blades are removed using this technique uh, it called microlith and they were called microlith so in the keyword you have learned that microlith small tool okay so these are small stone tools so these you no know, uh, like blade like things so they removed it from the stone and uh, they you know in the, using the flattered core technique and these blades removed uh, using this technique or with this technique were very small so they are called they were called microlith okay these were very small so they were called microlith and we know that they had geometrical shape so let us see the answer you can read the answer children mesolithic tools were smaller in size and sharper correct now next question what type of tools were made during the mesolithic age so what type of tools they used mesolithic age let us see the answer you can read this already we discussed you now now you read it the tools made during mesolithic age were small tools such as core point then blade okay uh, which were known as microlith okay now next one how are they different from the tools made during the paleolithic age so already you have you know you observed that paleolithic age the tools uh, 
uh, during paleolithic and now the mesolithic so what were uh, how were they different <coughs> tell me how were they different they were different in the shape and size okay so uh, different in the shape and the size so let us see the answer you can read they had geometrical shape yes mesolithic uh, age tools okay they had geometrical shape and uh, they they were smaller than the tools in the uh, paleolithic age so they were smaller in shape than the paleolithic age correct okay now let us discuss how are the tools of paleolithic age and mesolithic age different from each other you can tell that how are uh, the uh, tools of paleolithic age and mesolithic age different from each other already you have learned about the features of these tools so you can see okay paleolithic age then mesolithic age you can tell that yes correct paleolithic age okay tools the paleolithic age are bigger than the tools of mesolithic age and uh, they were bigger than tools in the mesolithic age so here mesolithic age tools in the mesolithic age were small and were called microlith they were smaller than the paleolithic age and here's few examples okay for the paleolithic stone age for hand axe you have learned that hand axe then cleaver okay chopper burin so these are the examples for paleolithic stone tools so some of the tools read children some of the tools uh, of this period are hand axe cleaver chopper flake and burin and what about mesolithic uh, some of the stone tools okay uh, they are very sharper than paleolithic stone tools then uh, some are cow uh, then lunate blade point okay yeah they had geometrical shape that is also one difference so some types of microliths were cow point blade lunate and they had geometrical shape okay now let us think and answer okay i will give one thing you can think and answer the question is why do these tools tell us about the early human's life during uh, this period paleolithic age So why do these tools? So here uh, in uh, two period, different period tools, you yeah, know, you have already learned about uh, the tools of different period, that is Paleolithic and Mesolithic. So what do these tools? What do these tools tell us about uh, the early humans' life during the Paleolithic age or Old Stone Age? Okay, Paleolithic age is the Old Stone Age. Tell me. We can tell that uh, these tools tell about uh, the day-to-day -day life of the people, humans, okay, during the old stone age. And we know that uh, they used uh, hand axes uh, for cutting and chopper for chopping uh, and blade, okay, they use uh, or uh, cleaver uh, for splitting the uh, trunks of trees uh, so uh, the there are tools okay and uh, the size and shape of these tools tell us uh, they were used these tools uh, for different work for various purposes okay let us see the answer then you can read the answer yes read children these tools tell us about the day-to-day -day life of the early humans during Paleolithic age. We know that they used hand axes for cutting and choppers for chopping. The size and shape of the tools tell us that they were used for very basic work. 
and they used for different purposes, different tools for different purposes. Okay, now next, the thing and answer. If you were an early human living during the Mesolithic age, what would you have done with your tools apart from hunting and gathering food to maintain a continuous supply of food? Okay, so if you are you are uh, early human living during the Mesolithic age, uh, so you have different types of stone tools. What would you have? Uh, done with your the, uh, tools okay apart from hunting because we know that early on they use these tools for hunting and gathering food so apart from that uh, you no know, your uses to maintain the continuous supply of food think and answer yes good correct children uh, we would have uh, no use these tools to grow uh, uh, crops okay uh, and uh, made tools that are helped in farming or we would have you uh, know uh, required some sets of tools uh, to domesticate animals uh, so uh, these are you know, the, uh, sub, uh, some uses you know or is the supply of food that means uh, we can do farming rather than no so we would have uh, made different uh, types of tools for farming and domesticate animals now let us see the answer you can read the answer good we would have grown our own food and made tools that are helpful in farming we would have required other sets of tools to domesticate animals okay now children Open your workbook. Open workbook. Now, uh, S1 page number, page number two, 17, take S1. Page number 17, Paleolithic Age. Next, S2, page number 18. Okay. Complete these two pages. Complete this worksheet. You read your content book, then complete the worksheet. Now, homework. Read the text from Paleolithic Age and Mesolithic Age from the content book, page number 8 and 9. So, this is block 2, stone tools. Okay. So, read uh, from uh, block 2, stone age, Paleolithic Age and Mesolithic Age. That is page number eight and nine. Next, answer practice question one, two, three, and four from content book, page number 12. So, children, answer practice questions one, two, three, and four from content book, page number 12. Okay. So let us discuss the answers next class. Uh, thank you children. Have a nice day.